Is your third eye pulsing or twitching? What's going on? As you develop your intuition, many physical sensations can occur in your body. This is usually connected with energy centers in the body that are shifting. I get a lot of clients that ask me what it means when they start feeling a twitching, pulsating or vibrating sensation between their eyebrows. I thought a lot of online readers might have the same question. So, what causes the sensation of twitching or pulsating on your forehead between your eyebrows, known as the third eye? Your third eye begins to twitch or pulsate when your psychic gateway is being stimulated in some way. This is usually because of a shift in consciousness and is often correlated with spiritual progression. In some cases, this can be a sign of overstimulation of psychic energy in this area, producing an energetic imbalance and therefore negatively impacting the mind or body. There are ways to tell why you are experiencing these sensations in your third eye, and if you should incorporate additional mindfulness practices in order to assist or calm down these energies. What is your third eye? Your third eye is one of the energy centers of your body. It sits around your forehead, typically between your eyebrows. It is also commonly called the sixth chakra and, coincidentally, is responsible for giving you a sixth sense. The sixth sense refers to anything that you sense beyond your five physical senses. An example of this is sensing that someone is going to call you, and they call you a minute later. It is also called intuition. The third eye is where your awareness sits, so it is often where I read how people view themselves, and how they view the world around them. It is the wider viewfinder of one's overall existence. When you access and develop your intuitive insight, you are predominantly tapping into the third eye energy center. It is often called the psychic gateway as this is where psychic information is received and interpreted. The third eye has been energetically connected to the pineal gland, which is a small rice grain sized gland sitting in the center of the brain. While this gland is predominantly known for producing melatonin, it has also been said to be responsible for making you feel a sense of clarity, intuition, empathy, focus, and decisiveness. Third eye guide what it oversees a psychic abilities, clairvoyance, mediumship, a intuitive insight a ethric sight a allow spiritual messages to flow into the physical world associated body parts a pineal gland color a imbalance indigo blue a overstimulated deep royal purple a understimulated or blocked white gray or silver supportive foods a fresh fruits and vegetables rich in purple beets berries grapes a k etc a foods and supplements that increase oxygen to the brain, green leafy vegetables, chlorophyll dense foods such as chlorella, spirulina, aiodine, supplementation, kelp, seaweeds, a foods and supplements that assist to eliminate toxins and heavy metals, best sourced from the ground such as mushrooms and harvest grains fulvic acid, cilantro, a above all, fluoride free water in balance a having compassion with the world around you instead of too much empathy or being completely emotionally blocked a intuitive insight that leads to clarity decisiveness confidence and feeling comfortable in your own skin a simultaneous connection with your higher self lower self and the world around you out of balance a neurosis a mental illness a tension headaches a messiah complex, feeling like you are a god or here to be the savior of mankind, a using psychic insight to manipulate overseeing energy that leads to fear seeing too much and not being able to handle it. Why does your forehead or third eye twitch? There are a few reasons why your forehead might be twitching. Your third eye chakra has been blocked or closed and is trying to get back into balance by opening up. Your third eye chakra is overstimulated and is trying to close off to block out excessive psychic information coming in. Your pineal gland is detoxing, 
decalcifying or needs to be. 1. When your third eye is blocked or closed many people begin the journey of intuitive development because they want to be more connected with their intuition, they feel as though their sixth chakra or third eye is blocked, and as they incorporate mindfulness techniques into their life they begin to notice new sensations in their body. As the third eye begins to open up to come back into balance, there is often a buzzing, fuzzy or subtle vibrating sensation between the eyebrows, it can sometimes be a twitching sensation that happens periodically, not for long periods of time. The buzzing or vibrating sensation has to do with the energetic frequencies in the body coming into alignment. If someone has been stuck at a lower frequency for a long time, the higher frequencies will be a new sensation, and therefore more noticeable. Reasons for the blockage There are many reasons why the third eye can be blocked, but it is often a result of physical or emotional trauma that one experienced early in their life. Because of this trauma, their lower chakras have been overstimulated their entire lives, so they have learned to live at a lower frequency. This usually feels like being stuck in survival mode, always stressed, and confused about their life direction. Another common reason for this is being overly empathic, which stimulates the second and third chakras, which pulls that energy away from the upper chakras and third eye. Empaths are often praised as being psychic or highly intuitive however, the intuitive and psychic information they receive is a huge burden on their bodies. This information comes in at a lower frequency, through the lower chakras, and in a way that makes it hard to discern what is their energy and what is the energy of others. They often feel as though they have to solve everyone's problems which takes a lot of energy away from them solving their own problems. Because of this, they often emotionally shut down, become reclusive, are fatigued, and are often cynical, jaded or carry harsh judgments about people. Empaths usually feel their third eye opening up, as they are extremely tuned into the vibrations of their body. Too. When your third eye is too open sometimes the sensations in the third eye can be associated with too much stimulation in that area. There can be a feeling of buzzing or vibration, but it tends to be more intense. I've heard clients describe it as being noisy. Pulsation is often a sign of overstimulation. When I first started doing readings, I would get pulsating feelings in my third eye after almost every session. This was before I was able to manage my energy centers, because I was opening up my third eye too wide in the readings. The pulsating feeling was overstimulation in that area. If I wasn't able to bring my third eye back into balance, I would get a tension headache for about a day after or get extremely fatigued. Pulsation in the third eye is letting you know that balance and harmony are required before things go haywire. Pulsation or buzzing combined with negative feelings, emotions The best way to tell if your third eye pulsating or twitching is overstimulation is to observe the feelings or emotions that accompany the sensation. Ways to tell if your pulsating or twitching is because of overstimulation include depression or anxiety becoming jaded or overly judgmental feeling overwhelmed extreme fear or paranoia seeing or feeling energy that causes fear tension headaches activities that can cause this include visual meditation or mantras for too long doing too many psychic intuitive readings being ungrounded for too long long flights long car rides too much electric stimulation such as TV or computer, too much light or sound stimulation, concerts with strobes and loud music, long periods with high-pitched music, overdoing binaural beats, certain psychedelics, such as ayahuasca or mushrooms. 3. When your pineal gland is detoxing, decalcifying, or needs to be, as mentioned above, the pineal gland is directly correlated with the third eye, so the health of the pineal gland is connected with the power of the third eye. 
If you have a weak or calcified pineal gland, the energy of your third eye will be diminished. This is caused by poor diet, stress, chronic dehydration, environmental toxins, and heavy metals. If you notice that the twitching or vibrating sensation began to happen as you switched something in your diet, it could be that your pineal gland is detoxing. This increases the energetic capacity of your third eye. A sign that your pineal gland may need detoxing is if you have incorporated a lot of mindfulness activities such as meditation, yoga, sound therapy, etc. But you still feel disconnected from your third eye center. You can begin the detoxification process by including certain foods into your diet. Common foods associated with pineal gland health include berries lemon and apple cider vinegar fruits with high hydration such as cucumber, romaine lettuce, and watermelon coconut oil, avocado, and grass-fed butter omega-3 fatty acids such as fish oil or hemp, chia or flax seeds iodine rich foods such as seaweed medicinal mushrooms such as shaga, rishi cordyceps and turkey tail supplements that contain a high content of greens such as chlorella and spirulina heavy metal detoxers such as cilantro and zeolites, fluoride enriched water and toothpaste have been said to cause damage to the pineal gland. While this is controversial, it could be something to cut out of your life as an experiment. My favorite supplement for the pineal gland and overall health is called Orac Energy Greens by Paradise Herbs. It contains some of the best pineal gland supporting supplements and does not have a lot of fillers that bring the carbohydrate level too high. I use this supplement every day and it is one of my favorite products to recommend to others. I have heard so many people report positive results. Can you intentionally open your third eye? And should you? There are many different paths to follow when considering this question. Different religions and spiritual beliefs teach different methods and advice. No matter the path, they all have a common answer to this question. Yes, you can intentionally stimulate and open your third eye. But, the better question is, should you? It is my personal belief and experience that unless you are committed to a deep and lifelong spiritual practice, you should not attempt to completely open your third eye. It should only be done with the guidance and supervision of an experienced spiritual advisor. The third eye, when opened too wide, can make you aware of psychic energies that may be too intense to handle. Without pure devotion and lifelong practice, this will most likely be a very negative experience. In this situation, the question should be why? Why do you want to open your third eye? For many of us, we simply want to achieve a higher vibration or more pleasant existence in this lifetime. This can be achieved without going so extreme to open your third eye center. We live in a society that believes more is better. That extremism is to be awarded that having extraordinary gifts will make us more special. However, we forget the power of balance, harmony, and humility. You already are extremely special, gifted and are doing everything right. Opening your third eye will not move you closer to a truth that you can experience right now. The key to energetic and mental health is a balance. I believe your goal should be to balance your third eye chakra not completely open it. What are the best ways to balance your third eye? Meditation I am passionate about meditation, only because I know from experience the huge impact it has on energetic balance. I start to feel like a broken record when I recommend meditation as the best home remedy. However, in this case, it really is the best mindfulness activity you can incorporate into your life if you want to balance your third eye. Getting into a meditative state will allow you to access the information coming in and out of your third eye energy center. Accessing this information will make you feel more centered, confident and decisive throughout your day. You'll have a better sense of your identity throughout your day. With regular meditation practice, 
your third eye becomes stronger, like a muscle. I once heard a Buddhist monk describe meditation and the third eye as tuning into wisdom, just like an instrument, you have to be in tune, otherwise, the notes will be off. Your energy centers have to be tuned properly to receive the higher wisdom from the third eye, which requires a visit to the meditation cushion on a regular basis. Meditation also helps balance your pineal gland which affects your overall health and sense of well-being. Meditation helps balance your melatonin production coming from your pineal gland but balances your entire circadian rhythm. There is a wealth of information online about meditation and the pineal gland, including many scholarly articles and science-based reports. Fasting Fasting has been associated with every religion and spiritual practice as a way to strengthen your spirituality. This is because it shocks your energy centers to open or close, depending on what is necessary for balance. This is especially true for your third eye. I like to call fasting a full body energy modulator. It resets your energy centers so that you feel centered and balanced. Fasting does not have to be a 40 day, 40 night thing. It can be as simple as intermittent fasting, meaning short fasts during the day. Or, it could be a 3 day water fast. This is completely up to you. There is a fasting app called Zero which I love to use to track my fasts. I'm not affiliated with this company, I just really love it. You should always do fasting under the care or supervision of your doctor. Crystals, in a pinch, crystals can be a huge asset to protect or balance the third eye. I always bring third eye balancing crystals with me when I have a long day of intuitive reading sessions. If I don't have enough time to meditate between sessions, I use crystals as a way to quickly retune my energy. The best crystals to use to balance the third eye are Selenite, usually recommended for 7th slash crown chakra. I also find that it quickly balances out the third eye, especially if your third eye is overstimulated, this works great to balance it out. Keep a selenite one near your desk or in your car if you feel that your third eye begins pulsating near electronics or vehicles. Amethyst, the same color as the crown chakra. This beautiful purple stone is great to stimulate an underactive third eye by bringing in more spiritual energy. Lie down in a relaxed position and place a piece of amethyst on your forehead. Imagine your third eye begin to open and feel your third eye begin to softly buzz. Shungjite Pyramid This is a great crystal for third eye protection and to balance the energies in your third eye. Using a Shungjite Pyramid on a regular basis balances your energy field and modulates any imbalances that may be present. It also protects your upper chakras from harmful EMFs which can cause an overstimulated third eye. If you can't find time to meditate your third eye twitch away, try placing a Shungjite pyramid nearby. Lapis Lazuli While Lapis Lazuli is best used for the 5th slash throat chakra, it is great for working with your third eye as well. It is a stone that reveals your inner wisdom and loves to tune your upper chakras to the harmony of this information coming in. This crystal keeps your energy waves tuned into wisdom. Other mindfulness activities worth mentioning Qigong or Yoga. Qigong translates to life energy cultivation or energy skill. Audio therapy, binaural beats, tuning forks, singing bowls, craniosacral therapy, breathing practices, tapping techniques. Summary Your third eye twitching or pulsating can be a way your physical body is picking up on energetic imbalances or growth that is happening on a spiritual level. Being able to interpret these signs and taking the appropriate action to bring them into balance is an amazing skill to cultivate. Opening your third eye completely or having it being closed off completely is not ideal, and with this energy center balance is key. With regular meditation, a few tweaks to your diet, 
and a couple of crystal additions to your toolbox, your third eye will be happy and healthy a giving you the strength of an intuitive warrior.